sorry. Today is your day. Today you do what you want. Today is all about you. You and you alone. Oh wait, I have to see Nathan's teacher. And I have to call the aircon guy. Dr. Maya, I should send her some food. Okay, it's all about you. After we settle all that, you, nobody, nobody but you. Ma'am, going to work? Uh, yeah. Is this so early? I was thinking of buying something outside to eat uh, before going to work. Eh? Don't eat outside food. I'll make breakfast for you. Healthier. No need. I won't take long. I'll just eat up something from last night. Please, David, no need. I just want to go out before... Yes, ma'am. I'll see you later. So there are no other patients require immediate attention. But heads up, Mr. Tan from bed number 36 will be transferred out today. The discharge orders from Mr. Ong of bed 24 has to be written out. The first admissions will be coming in, so I need an update on open beds. Candice and Zarif, are there any patients having problems on your unit? Zarif? Zarif? Oh, ah, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm sure I don't have to stress to you how important morning briefings are, do I? Won't happen again. Sorry. All right, everyone, go back to work and let me know if there's any problems. And then, Sarisa? Yeah. You've been working with Dr. Shen for a while, right? Why? Just curious. Is he dating anyone? I'm just curious. Are you asking for someone? No, it's some of these other nurses. Oh. They... These girls, if I get 10 cents for Every nurse who asks about Dr. Shin's love life will not have to work. So you don't know if he's seeing anyone? I've never asked and I don't want to know. Check on your patients and get back to me, okay? Yeah. These kids, they leave everything in the car. Wrappers, pencils. Yesterday, I found a sock. Sorry and thanks, Ananya. I don't think I can put him to sleep anytime soon. Let me try putting him to bed. You should go back to sleep. No, no need. You're late for work already. Did you think the chemo fatigue would be this bad? It's worse than I thought. I'll just try to take it easy today. I will. I still have all these errands to run. Just try to rest. Anyways, I'll pick the kids up from school and then I'll send you for your brain tumour support meeting, okay? There's a meeting? Yeah. This one. Today. Oh, I forgot. That reminds me, I'll have to cook lunch early and then drop the kids off at Mrs. Gunn's before we go. Gotta get this done. Deans, you... You really need to rest. Between cooking and all these errands? I'll try. And that's it, Mr. Leung. Everything looks good, so you'll probably be discharged by the end of the evening. Take care. 
The next patient is Mr Tan. Just in case you want to refer to them, these are the latest lab tests and diagnostic results. You're getting the hang of this. Good. Thanks. We have a few complicated cases today. Come with me and you'll learn a lot. Dr Shin. Yes? The cases are difficult, but it's a great opportunity to learn. Uh, no, I, I mean... Thanks. I'm happy to learn from you. Okay. The morning wasn't great, but the afternoon is all yours. This is your afternoon. So do what you want. Mommy, and... Mommy. Nathan, I told you to finish your food fast today, right? It's too hot. I burnt my tongue. Just blow on it a few times. You're not a baby. Hurry up. I need to send you to Mrs. Gun. And Mommy has to go out. But I can't eat this. Mommy, I can't finish. If I eat too fast, I'll get a stomachache. Me too. Can we have something else? We need to go. You're not even halfway done. If you finish up now, you can have extra TV time at Mrs. Gun's house. More TV? I don't think so. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down or you'll choke on your food. Listen. Done. More TV. Yay! You can't take it back. It worked. Come on! Get moving, guys. I have to be back at the office. That includes you. Let's go. We're done for the morning. Well done, Zarif. Any questions? If not, I'm going off. Actually, there's something I need to ask. Yes? Anything during rounds that you missed or didn't understand? Last night, you were outside the Shelley office. You were with someone. I'm fine if you follow me on my rounds in the hospital. But you're following me outside too? I just happened to be there. You know Shira? Not that it's any of your business, but yes, my friends from school. She's my brother's boss. You're Zarin's brother? So you know what's going on between them, don't you? You know that she's my brother's mistress? Did you say anything to her? Stop her? I can't tell her what to do. It's her life. It's not just her life. Your friend is breaking up my brother's family. You should tell her what to do. The right thing to do. Just make sure the table settings are done. Okay, thank you. Ka? Yes? You're still going ahead with your IVF appointment? Yes. Why? What if even after you get pregnant, Abang still leaves you for that woman? He hasn't left yet. He might. What if he stays? Do you really want him to stay? He's my husband. And this is my marriage. Ka, going through IVF is hard. It isn't fair for you or the baby. Not when things are so uncertain. You should wait until you know what's happening to your marriage. I'm running out of time here. I've always wanted to have a baby. And if I were to get pregnant, I'm sure Zarin will make the right choice. Hey, you don't need to walk me to the meeting. It's fine. I have a bit of time before I have to get back to the office. You just want to make sure I go, right? Yeah, that too. Ananya, just go back to the office. And stop lying, okay? You've been out for almost three hours. Your boss must be wondering where you are. You might get fired. Oh, please. You wouldn't dare fire me. All those nights I stay late at the office? What's an extra hour or two for lunch? Ananya... Can you just stop nagging me, please? Okay, let's go. Ooh, who knows so? I might need a cute guy at your support group. So stubborn. She's like my best friend. Just what I don't need. Another thing to do. Kenneth? Yeah. He forgot his parents' 40th wedding anniversary and he wants me to get the present. Tell him to get it himself. No. He always says they're picky and they never like what he chooses. What does he want now? He's talking about our 40th anniversary. And the type of presents our kids will get us. But 40th is a long time away. Have a good meeting and tell me how it goes, okay? 
Oh, crap. What? I had to meet Nathan's teacher today. Right now? Yeah, I better go. Uh, I'll come back for the meeting another time, okay? Yeah, I'll drop you off on my way to work. No, I'll get a cab from here, you go, okay? No, just go, Ananya, you'll be late. Go, go, go. All right, I'll call you later. Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. bye. Bye. Good morning, Mr. Ho. How are we doing today? Good? So we'll be needing some blood samples for testing. Nazarif is going to take some blood. Now, remember to get it at a correct angle. And then slowly advance until you achieve feedback. Good morning, Mr. Ho. Oh. oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me. Talk to you outside. Oh. Anani, I get him. Oh, hi. Sorry, were we scheduled for a meeting? Uh, no, no, no. I just need an update on the all good buyout. Uh, the latest audit results are in. Let me consolidate and get back to you by the end of the day. Uh, you've been driving out quite a lot for lunch lately. Is there some new place? Yeah, I'm getting pretty sick of the options around here. You should try getting out for lunch sometime. Or maybe one day you can uh, bring me to wherever it is uh, you're going. Maybe. Uh, when? Someday. I'll let you know. just now. I'm sorry, Dr. Shen. I didn't want to hurt the patient, but I did. It's going to happen a few more times before I feel confident enough to do it properly. So I think a cannula is one of the more challenging skills that just takes practice and confidence. So just make sure you practice, and I'm sure you're more than capable of doing it right. Thank you, Dr. Shen. One more thing. Like I said earlier, I don't believe in telling my friends how to lead their lives. But it's been bugging me, what you said about your sister-in-law. I suspect Shira at some point will regret this situation. And maybe as her friend, I should have tried harder to help her see the consequences of her actions and stop seeing your brother. Hey, Zara. Good news. I think Dr. Shen might talk to Shira. He's not such a bad guy after all. Hi, Mrs. Gunn. Is everything okay? What? Tiana hasn't picked up the kids yet. Uh, yeah, did you try... She's not answering. They make the best martinis here. Yeah, 
So I'm saying I wanted to change to a new car. It's very painful, you know, because I spent so much on my rims. Sorry. Teens, where are you? You would never guess. What? Kenneth, I'm at the wine cafe. Kenneth? Wait, you're at a bar? Yeah, come and meet me, okay? We'll have a few drinks. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. Stay right there. I'll be right over. Uh, sorry, James. I have to go. I'll get back to you about the projects tomorrow. First thing, I promise. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, Zarif. What is your problem? You can't even say hello to me. We can't even have a conversation anymore. I have nothing to say to you. Fine. Wait. Actually, I do have something to say. What? Kaka still thinks there's hope between the two of you. Please tell her the truth. If not, she's going to carry on with the IVF. She's still going ahead with it? Yes. And if you care about her at all, please don't make her suffer any more than she already has. No, but I'm having so much fun. You know, I checked into a hotel room, had room service, and a long, hot, uninterrupted bubble bath. And I took off my ring. <laughs> so, so you forgot about the kids at Mrs. Gunn's house so you could come here and pick up some guy? No, I didn't forget. I knew they'll be okay. I just wanted to get away for a little while. Be responsible, live a little. You scared me. I almost had a heart attack when Mrs. Gunn said that you didn't turn up. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted today to be about me. But everything else got in the way. Everyone else got in the way as usual. So I thought, if I don't just do this for myself now, I might not get another chance. So. Today's Diana's day. <laughs> so, did you meet anybody? Oh, it's only been Kenneth since JC. My flirting skills oh, are seriously lacking. How are yours? What? Anyway, I'm going to call Mrs. Gunn and tell her I'll be there later. How much later? And why? You and me, we're going to have fun. Ka, how was the IVF appointment? It's OK. I saw Abang just now outside the restaurant. Did you see him? No. He doesn't look sorry at all. Sorry. No remorse, no regret, nothing. I'm sure he's sorry. I'm sure he's only sorry because he got found out. Ka, I know it's your decision, but if I were you, I would leave Abang. Zarif, I really don't want to talk about this. You have to make the decision, because he won't. He's not going to leave her. He needs time. He's selfish. He's got you at home, and he's got her. He's not going to make a decision. And you can't just hang around waiting for him. Ka. You deserve someone too much better than him. I don't know why you don't think so, but he really doesn't deserve a wife like you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Gunn. Yeah, we'll be back before their bedtime. Yeah, sure, they can watch TV while waiting. Sure, see you later. Hey, no checking off emails. I just rushed out of the office. I have to see if there's something urgent. All right. This 
yourself the best martinis here. I can't drink. I have to go home and work. You're always giving me advice. Now, let me give you some, okay? Take a break. You need it. When was the last time you had a night out? I think... I, th I think it was... See? When... If you have to think that hard, it was too long ago. You're not supposed to be drinking. I know, but one drink won't kill me, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy every drop of this, right? Here's to best friends who abandon work. And runaway mothers. <laughs> I'm really happy we're doing this. Me too. Here's to Deanna's day. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, so nice. Dad. Where you? What are you doing here? Is it very painful? Aren't you on duty? Uh, don't worry, I have to urgent leave. I told you I'll be fine. How many times must I tell you? Well, come on. <sighs> Excuse me, nurse. My dad's in pain. How long more does he need to wait to see a doctor? Matthew, stop fussing. They are busy. Please, could, could you just have a look at him? Could you maybe just give him some painkillers? Sir, any drug allergies? No. Why are you hurting the most right now? 